What's up everyone? I'm Jeff in Raleigh, your Toyota resource. We've got a great opportunity. Be prepared for the chance of a lifetime because today we're talking about the 2021 Toyota 4Runner Venture Edition. This one is cool. It's hot. If you've heard the name Venture Edition, but maybe not researched it enough, or if you've researched it, I say think of a TRD Off-Road Premium with a twist, with a little addition, with a little pinch. You'll be seeing this, but with this, and this thrown in. Performance-wise, I choose to think of this as a workhorse, along with the TRD Off-Roads and the TRD Pro, because it's designed for on the road, for sure, but it's absolutely designed for off-roading on those trails, along the riverbed, that kind of stuff. This is a 4.0 liter V6 engine. It's matched with a five-speed automatic transmission. This is gonna give you 270 horsepower and 278 foot-pounds of torque. Forerunner Venture Edition is one of those trim levels that has part-time four-wheel drive with active traction control. And what that means is you're in total control here. You are the captain now. That means that you get to pick when you're in high four-wheel drive, low four-wheel drive, maybe when you're pulling a boat out of a boat ramp, maybe when you're in the woods at low speeds, or you can control when you don't need that and you could just be in two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive. Venture Edition also has off-roading tools that might help you get through obstacles or out of tough spots by giving you locking rear differential, active traction control, crawl control, and multi-terrain select. This is one of those ones also that you'll see the hood scoop so you know that it's something like a TRD Pro, TRD Off-Road, Off-Road Premium, or the Venture Edition. It has LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and LED fog lights. It's a 2021. All trim levels come with LED headlights, LED fog lights. Yes! Now, the ground clearance. Because it's a four-wheel drive, it has 9.6 inch ground clearance. If you get the two wheel drive, it just bumps down half a foot, 9.0 inches for ground clearance. All four runners also have Toyota Safety Sense. So it has pre-collision system, here's a radar, with pedestrian detection during the daytime, automatic high beams, dynamic radar, cruise control, and lane departure alert. So there's radar here, there's a camera right up here, and those are watching for cars and people and things that could get in your way and cause accidents plane beautiful day outside i hope it's great where you guys are what's the weather like where are you tell me where you're watching this from i'm a big fan of blue so i really like this nautical blue color it's not the most commonly picked by customers i just absolutely love it so here's underneath it also the suspension on this one it has standard suspension and then it has optional suspension this has coil spring double wishbone with stabilizer bar in the front and in the back we're gonna find number one the spare tire it's under here and then this has coil spring four link suspension with lateral bar and stabilizer optionally you could also choose the kdss kinetic dynamic suspension system upgrade kdss utilizes hydraulics and what that does is it automatically and independently adjust the stabilizer bar and limits lean resistance. So what that means is it's safer on the highway, but it also softens up on the highway. So you get a really smooth, comfortable ride, but it allows you for the most control and withstanding a lot of resistance on off-roading trails, which is one reason why people are getting this bad boy here. I want to walk around Forerunner Venture so you can get a look. Here's where I'm standing on though. So it might be a little bit choppy, but I want to show it from a certain angle. How does that look? Look at the wheels, those gray steel wheels, gunmetal we'll call it. Yeah, look at that. And then of course, notice that Yakima basket up on top. Those are some good clues that you might be looking at a Venture Edition here. And then we'll look at the back as well before I talk more about the back yeah wheels and tires these are the gray trd alloy wheels 17 inch and then they come with all-terrain tires these are p265 70 r17 tires you can take them pretty much anywhere you choose ladies and gentlemen and then we'll just look along the length of it here's my shadow peter pan how's that look this comes with a 23.0 gallon fuel tank and the fuel mileage combines for 17 MPG with 16 in the city and 19 on the highway. This comes with ventilated disc brakes in the front and the rear, 13.3 inches. 
and I believe 12.28 inches in the back. They're big brakes designed to work and stop you when it's needed. So you'll see turn signal indicator here, right here in the side mirror. And then it also has smart key, push button start with auto unlock. So if I walk up to the car with the key in my pocket, let's say, or purse or whatever, automatically unlocks and then you lock it, put your finger right there on those two parallel lines, boom. Easy. What else is gonna tell us that we have a Venture Edition here? It's got black exterior accents like the Toyota symbol, the black side mirror caps, as well as the door handles. Hey, there's me. What a professional outfit I got going on here. You'll also find Venture stamp right here in the Forerunner badge and the Toyota symbol, blacked out of course, and then the backup camera's right here, hidden underneath there to protect it from raindrops and snow and maybe a little bit of dirt and grime and stuff like that. It has a 5,000 pound tow capacity. Every Forerunner does. It comes with the four and the seven pin connectors as well. This right here is nice because if you're loading something, it won't scratch your paint up. It just hits this bumper protector here. Hey. All weather cargo mat. Really good if you've got muddy stuff, camping, sports equipment, groceries, mulch, potting soil. I recommend it. It's usually about $100, maybe $200. I don't know, like $100, let's call it. But anyway, here's your open space. You can also get the sliding rear cargo deck that pulls out like this and it's like a tabletop or a workbench and it holds 400 to 40 pounds. Your choice, no third row available. Things that could be of interest to you also, look at the backs of the seats. You'll see car seat tethers right there. There are three of them for potentially three car seats across. And then it's got a storage pocket, storage bin here, first aid kit, cargo net. That's a good accessory to add. And then it's got the 120 volt, 400 watt grounded outlet here. And then the 12 volt port that you just plug in different devices. That way you can do work out here or maybe camping, blenders, I would be cooking. The back of the vehicle, how do you get more storage space? Well, one way you can do is just climb on in and then you're going to pull up the seat bottom like that, lower the headrest, and then there's a little button over here that you push. And then we get a pretty darn flat surface here where you can store up boxes. I can see animals sitting there, all sorts of stuff. See, I almost did it wrong. Yes, I've done this before. Hey, that's pretty nice. I'm five foot eight. Maybe I could sleep like this. Probably not vertically. That's close, but no, not vertically. So diagonal, yeah, that could work for overnight camping. Probably one person or maybe a really small person here. I'll be curious to know your experience with legroom and headroom in the back seat. For me, it's just fine, but I'm not wider or taller. I'm a little bit wider. Look at this pig gut, Blech. disgusting. Don't look anyway. This is a lot of leg room here because the seat's more vertical, but it's also a little bit further up. Very comfortable seat here. I could see three small to average sized people sitting across here, no problem. Some car seats, things like that. Put up the headrest. And this with the seat a little bit more reclined. Still plenty of room, headroom. How do I do this? Headroom like that. So what's your experience, Ben? Are you okay in the back? Other highlights on this specific one, we've got rear air vents and two USB ports that's standard on all 2020 and 21 Forerunners. This comes with the Venture Edition here, the all-weather liners. It's one piece design. Clever. Clever, Clarice, clever. Then we've got, that did not sound like Hannibal Lecter at all. What an idiot. Eight inch multimedia touch screen. You can do Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa. Big giant window though here. Lots of visibility, folks. Lots of visibility. We're gonna go on in here and look at the window sticker. You'll see my camera here. I think we can do this with the camera. Venture Edition, Nautical Blue. My friend sold this one already, so I don't wanna take the window sticker off. Here's the safety ratings. I don't wanna take a chance that it might get ruined. Here's the fuel mileage I told you about. Here's the factory MSRP, 44,620. Notice that it has the moonroof optionally and then the keep it wild savings, that's a factory rebate. Can be more or less. Here's standard performance. 
Then we've got our safety features. We're gonna be seeing venture specific features in just a minute. Exterior, skid plates. Interior features, there's a lot to see. Okay, and then this is standard because it's a venture edition. All right, so let's go to the pricing. 44,620, we're going to deliver that it's less than $1,000 if it's a car, but SUVs, trucks are gonna be like 1120. And then, and then, 45, 620, it's got a cable charging package for $73. And then it's gonna be 45, 693, folks. I do wanna show you this angle, just because when it's not in the sun, it really pops. The sun does a little bit too of the car as far as changing that blue but this is when it's kind of by the woods. This is Umstead Park, folks. We back up to Umstead Park, so I have a beautiful backdrop to film. All right, it's time for interior features and highlights. So let's check out what we can do with this one. Look at the picture, it does not go up, it does not twist, but it does go forward. Hey, there's my mask. It does go forward quite a bit actually that opens up a crazy amount of leg room in the back look at that if it's all the way forward look at that imagine if you've got tall kids sitting in the back and you're the only driver you could put that seat all the way forward that's like a crew max it's like a tundra crew max there baby look at this black soft tech seating with red stitching And then the back of the seat, of course, we can recline as well. What's your favorite trim level of 4Runner, folks? Do you like the SR5s, the off-roads? Do you like the Limited or the Nightshade or TRD Pro? Will you be looking forward to the Trail Edition when that comes out? All right, so maybe a passenger could recline and snooze on a trip. Should I say holla? I'm not going to do it. Not gonna do it. We have an open glove box. You can see the owner's manual, quite thick because there's a lot of information to learn, but there's also excess space in here where you can store other things. Here's our part-time four-wheel drive lever. Got our shifter there. This is heated front seats. Look at the accent pieces. This is my um, water bottle. You can see it on my Amazon top picks list. It's really good for being able to tell where you're at for water for the day. Like for example, it's about 9.30 right now and I should be, well, I should be right about here so I know I'm on track. That's good. Yeah, I recommend you guys get one of those. It's a great gift, I mean, it's Christmas time. Check out that link. Then we got a circular port here, 12 volt. There, 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 there. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. I just did. Somebody asked me, could I show the vertical extension on the power driver's seat. So I'm gonna do that. We've got that, and then I'll, why not? I'll go down with her. I like that the power driver's seat actually works pretty quickly. It has lumbar support. These are all one-touch windows. All auto? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Then we've got our hood release. This pushes power, push that. Now power can be put in the back area. That was kind of awkward. Then we've got automatic high beams, leather wrapped steering wheel. Our controls on this one look a little bit different on something like a RAV4 or a Camry or a Highlander. That's how you pick up a call. That's how you hang up a call voice commands then we've got radar cruise control and lane departure alert i'm going to show you the multi-information display because people want to know if there's digital speed and there is and then it shows you how far till you run out of gasoline as well 89 miles a lot of people like they actually prefer this temperature control system it's nice chunky knobs as opposed to digital people just like that it's tough it's rugged why not 
Then we've got a USB port and a 12 volt circular port here. Also the eight inch touch screen, it has dynamic navigation system. So it updates right away in real time. There's no map card that you use. Auto dimming rear view mirror. It has home link for garage door opener programming, active traction control, locking rear differential, safety connect, moonroof controls, of course. This turns traction control on and off. And then here, when it says speed, that means it's the crawl control and the other ones here, multi-terrain select. What else we got going on? Let's keep going. No need to cut that scene. Lighted mirror, it's not LED. And then it's got a slider so it can hide that there. And it's a good time to check out the visibility. Big windows, folks, big, big windows. When you got a car like this, you wanna be able to see all around and I feel Forerunner does a really good job of that. Again, what's the weather like where you guys are? Hopefully it's really nice. I think it's gonna be like 65 and sunny today. So everyone, what do you think of the Venture Edition? Are you a Forerunner fan? And is this a model that you would choose? What do you think about the price tag? What do you think about the value associated or included with that price tag? Ooh, I feel the heated seat right now. This is good stuff. Do you like the black with the red accent stitching? I like it. I think it's really cool. It's not overwhelmingly red. I'm a fan. Now it's time for your comments. Thanks everyone for watching. I sure would appreciate it if you click subscribe. You can even hit the notification bell. That way you'll be alerted whenever I get a new video out. You can be the first one to say first on the comment section or give your replies or just see what's new. Who knows with me? Anyway, please subscribe. Please follow my stories at torquenews.com slash Toyota. You'll see something on Forerunner this week. Holla. Also, I'm on Instagram. Toyota Jeff one. I'm on Facebook at Toyota Jeff. I'm on Twitter at Toyota Jeff one. There's a lot of going on, a lot of going on here. Thanks so much. I really appreciate you guys so much. See you next time.